As you know, I'm kind on the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you Node.js file system. This is actually how do you manipulate the file system of your computer using Node.js code. How do you create a file, read a file, open a file, create a directory? These are very important things, and they are yet so easy to do in programming like Node.js. And if you learn how to do it in Node.js, you should be able to do it in Python, in C++, in C, in, in, in every other programming language. So I'm going to teach you step by step how to do it. In my website, where I have written the procedure, the, the codes we are going to use, so that it will be easy for you to follow, even if you are a beginner, even if you are joining this lesson at this point, it will be very easy for you to, to follow and understand. I've laid out nine different things we are going to learn today. We are going to be talking about synchronous versus asynchronous operation, opening a file, reading a file, getting file information, closing a file, truncating a file, deleting a file, and then creating directories. Now, all these things I'm going to teach you, I will just want you to focus and pay attention and try to follow along in your own system. Now, I'm using Visual Studio Code, VS Code, so you can download it for free and install it in your system and be able to follow this procedure. Uh, if you want, you can just go online, type Visual Studio Code, or VS Code to download and you have it. All right, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. In that way, you get notified when I make new lessons. And also, you kind of motivate me to keep making this lesson for you because I make them for free. So subscribe and also let me know how you feel. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Again, if you want to support me a little bit more, if you scroll up this page, you'll see Buy Me A Coffee. You feel free to buy me a coffee. I'll appreciate that very, very much, and that kind of also motivates me to keep making this lesson for you for free. All right, so in Visual Studio Code, I've created a file called filesystem.js. So, of course, Node.js is also JavaScript. All this React.js, all this uh, Vue.js, and, and all this stuff, they, they, they kind of derive from JavaScript. So, we created a JavaScript file, filesystem.js. So the first thing I'm going to explain to you is about synchronous versus asynchronous operation. In synchronous operation, which is a normal programming uh, language, uh, procedural programming, the programs run line by line, uh, once, one after the other, executes one after the other in kind of uh, hierarchical manner, in a procedural or contiguous manner. But in asynchronous operation, or uh, it doesn't happen that way, a block of code or a function can uh, be executing while other functions are also executing. In this way, in this case, we talk about callbacks. So I would like to re recommend you read up callbacks in, in my previous lesson. Now, when it comes to reading a file, Node.js provides two methods. One is read file. This is a method that reads file asynchronously. Then it provides another equivalent corresponding method called read file sync. Like you can see, this is read file, a method for reading file asynchronously. And we have read file sync, a method for reading file synchronously. Now, when it comes to asynchronous reading, it's a normal in the normal way Node.js operates. Now, instead of talking so much, let's just de demonstrate how it works. I've created a file in my file system here called testimpute.txt, as you can see. So if I open it, you can see the content of this file right here. So I'm going to close it back. So the first thing I would like to do, I'm going to read this file synchronously and then read it asynchronously. So for you to read a file, the first thing you need to do is to import the file system uh, module. So fs is equal to require, require, or you can require it, but normally we say import it, require fs. So once you say this, you imported the file system module, and we have a, a file system object. So now I'm going to read this file, and whatever comes from this file, I'm going to assign it to a variable called data. I'm going to say uh, var data equals, I'm going to now say read, sorry, fs dot read file sync. 
refile sync. Okay, so this is in this way you simply provide the path to this file. So let me just provide the path to this file as path is equal to is in my drive D, and I'm going to say node files, and the name of the file is test input. Dot, uh, dot txt. So when you use read file sync, you need to provide the path to this file. So I'm going to just provide the path to this file, as you can see. All right, so now I've read this file and I have the content of this file in a variable called data. So I'm going to simply say, um, I'm going to I'm just going to print out whatever I said. So I'm going to say console.log and I'm just going to print data. Okay, let me just print data. So here I'm reading file asynchronously. I'm not using a callback and it's going to execute step by step. Even if the file takes time to read, is the program is going to wait for it to read. This is synchronous operation. And it's, it's good to understand the difference between synchronous and asynchronous operation in Python. What we've done now is synchronous operation. I'm going to run it and so that you see how it works. So to run it, I'm going to simply save this file, save, and I'm going to say node, node file system.js. Okay. So you can see that, okay, it says it displays the memory content. So what I'm going to do is simply say data dot to string. So you can display the actual content of this file. So let me save and I'm going to rerun it again. So you can see that it displays the content of this file. If I can enlarge this, that will be fine, but it seems I can't. So it says for updates, subscribe. So you can see this is the content of this file. Now, this is reading this file asynchronously, not asynchronously. We, we read it synchronously. Let's make no mistake about it. When it comes to asynchronous reading of file, you have to use a callback. That is the next thing we are going to do. So, I'm going to simply uh, kind of comment this line out. I don't know if I can comment. Okay, let me see if I can use multi-line comment to comment this block of code so that we can write for uh, a synchronous reading of file. So like this. Okay, there are things we will need. We'll need the file system and also we'll need the path to the file. Okay. So now we want to read file asynchronously. Alright. So the syntax for reading file asynchronously goes this way fx dot read file now you have to say a read file and it's not read file sync but just read file. You specify the paths and then specify a callback function. So I'm going to say function. A callback function has to be specified like this. So now we've not built up this function but we can see that we have a complete function here which is a callback function. This function is going to execute anytime the reading of the file completes. While the file is being read, the other parts of the program, for instance, whatever program is here, will continue to run. But anytime the file reading is complete, this function we specified here is going to trigger and execute immediately. So when the, the data is available, meaning that the file has been read, we want to execute this function. So let me indent it so that it, it makes some sense. So the callback function that we, are that we are going to execute when the data is available will have to take two objects, error and data. So error is if error occurs in the, well, during the reading operation and data is the data that has been returned from, from the file. So Let's say if error occur, what is going to happen? So we are going to specify what is going to happen. Assuming error occurs, I'm going to say console. So I'm going to I'm going to return console 
dot error. So simply display the error to the console. Maybe the directory is not there, maybe the file is not found, the file is corrupted, or stuff like that. We are going to display to the output. Um, otherwise, we are going to display the content of the file. So I'm going to say console.log <coughs> and we still put the same thing, data dot to string. So in this case now, we are reading the file asynchronously. How do we know that it's being read asynchronously? I'm going to prove it to you right now. But before, before then, let's run it to see uh, that it's working and then we proceed from there. So I'm going to run this code again. And you can see that it displays the same thing. Now I'm going to write some code here so that I'll show you that likely this code I'm writing is going to run even if the file read function is above in the in the line of coding in the in the program, the written of file is above, but this program I'm writing is going to run even before the file is read. The reason is because let me just call it other code. The reason is because written of file from the file system takes time, right? So even if it takes a few milliseconds, it takes time. So it means that whatever code that is available is going to run. And once the written operation completes, we are going to then um, we are going to then display the data. So let me just put more other code uh, lines here. So let me copy this. All right. So put semicolon. Don't forget that's a delimiter. All right, so I'm going to save and then I'm going to run it. So save and then run. Let's see. So you can see that you can see here you have other code actually run. Even though it's lower below the, 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 the block of code for reading a file. But since that is a read, a read file operation from the disk, it's going to take a longer time. So while that operation is going on, all that code is going to execute, and when the data is available, then it's going to run the callback and display the error, the, the the content of the file. So now, hopefully, you understand the difference between synchronous and asynchronous operation in in, in Node.js. The same thing applies in AngularJS and other programming languages. Is you simply need to understand it. In case of synchronous operation, you simply read the file and display it. In case of asynchronous operation, you need to use the read file, you need to specify a callback function. A callback function is the normal function, but you need to specify it as a parameter to the read file operation. So you see a complete function here is given as a parameter to the read file operation because most of the functions in Node.js, they are asynchronous functions. And asynchronous methods and they will need to take a callback. Hopefully this has been informative for you. If so, subscribe to my channel. In the next part, we are now going to be talking about opening a file, closing a file, working with directory and stuff like that. So subscribe to my channel, like this video and also leave me a comment and we'll see you in the next part.